Welcome back to Living Local. Today we're at the Advanced Dental Center of Somerville and joining me today, I'm super pumped about this. I love this man right here. Dr. Muscott, thank you so much for having me. Uh, we're happy to be here. Okay, we gotta talk about the history of this place because you've really, I mean, grown, evolved over the years. Let's just talk about back when I was coming to see you and even before then. Okay, uh, well, I started in 74. Mm -hmm. In 1970, I took over from Dr. Lewis, who took over from Dr. McElhenney, who started the practice in 1907. So we literally have been here over 110 years. I'm the same practice. Well, you uh, don't look 110, well, by the way. <laughs> you look fantastic. And I love the fact that you follow people through life, you know, as a I've kid, got, I've got all the way. some families. I've got four generations and one family of fifth generations that we've treated here. I and love that's, that. the, that's the whole schmo. And, yeah, we just, it gives you a great sense of, of community. You know, we've always been involved in the community, like your mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. right? And uh, uh, it just, it's a good way, it's a, it's a good practice. So we did, and we still do that. We still been able to maintain, even though the, some of the big box places, you know, you go in there, you're your number, and they yep. run you in, run you out, and all they want your money. That's not us at all. And we've been really blessed. We've had great staff over the years, mm -hmm. you know, that, that make the patients feel like they're comfortable and part of our dental family. Well, I have to ask this, like, you know, Somerville, what are your, I mean, I know you have a love for Somerville just like I do, but you know, when you think about this community, what, what, what are some of the ways that you would describe? Somerville has been able to really, and compared to other areas that you can see, we've been able to keep our small town atmosphere. We still got a downtown, all right? And people have a sense of, of being part of the downtown where some of these areas you go to, uh, you're not, they don't have that core, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we got some great churches and civic groups that, you know what I'm saying, in the area that have been there for just years and years and years. Uh, it's got a lot going for it. So you got a lot of impressive things going on on here. And in fact, we're actually gonna go talk with Dr. Ron and Dr. Parker, yeah. who um, bring their own special yeah. Yeah. thing exactly. to this practice. Yeah. Well, Dr. Muscott, thank you so much Ooh. for being with us. You're like wow. family, I, I love you to death. Well. We love Somerville, all right? and I love dentistry. It's the only job I've ever had that I don't look at my watch in order to go home. Oh, I love that. And you're good at it, yeah, right? Well, we think we are. All right, well, let's go check in with Dr. Ron and Dr. Parker. Thank you. All right, we're here with Dr. Ron and Dr. Parker. I've known you for years, you're new. We're gonna get to that, but first, Monk's Corner is where you come from. I Gotta did. love some Monk's Corner. But I, born and raised. Yeah. All right. But I want to talk about like why you decided to come here. Well, first I was in practice in North Charleston for 10 years mm -hmm. and I learned a lot about what I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. I met Dr. Muscott and Jones, mm -hmm. decided that was the kind of person I wanted to be involved with and that led me to this practice almost 20 years ago. I was about to say, because I remember I've been in your chair many times. That's true. We have gone through a lot over the years but talk about kind of like as far as the community goes is that another aspect that brought you here i mean that didn't bring me here but certainly it's been fun to become more mm -hmm. a part of it um, dr muscott set a great example for being involved in the community dr jones the joke about dr jones is every third patient used to live across the street from oh, dr yeah. jones somewhere i grew up with his daughter yeah we all know each other all right dr parker you know you you grew up here you went away and now you're back. So why did you come here? Well, sort of the same thing. I've actually was a patient of Dr. Muscott and Dr. Jones, and Dr. Jones used to live about five houses up for me for a little while. But if someone not from Somerville was listening to this, they'd be like, all right, this is real, real close. Okay, so. So, and for years we had been trying to, to come back to the area, back to Somerville. And finally the opportunity presented itself and I called actually Dr. Jones one day and was interested in coming back to Somerville and he said that they had actually just had a discussion the night before uh, looking to hire a new associate. And so the timing couldn't have worked out better. But knowing Dr. Muscott and Dr. Jones is for as long as I have, mm -hmm. that's what really drew me back to the practice. Well, I'm telling you, like I said many, many times that I've known y'all for years and years and years. And one of my favorite things when I would come here, you know, there's anxiety of going to the dentist, obviously. The wall that you have, where you you do the whole clippings of people and you know the news and stuff. 
20 years ago when I came here, that board was here. It's been here ever mm -hmm. since. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, Dr. Muscott likes to call it Facebook before there mm -hmm. was Facebook. I love it. Um, it was just, it was a good thing to have because I mean, like I said, you have anxiety and everything like that and then you, it just shows how invested you are in, you know, the patients and that you're keeping up with them. Right. It's a lot of fun. All right. So, it, for the folks at home who are looking for a new place to go to get all of their dental needs figured out, why would you tell them that this is a great place to come? There are four of us here plus a periodontist mm -hmm. who each have set out to do kind of the same thing for different individuals. I've had the benefit of being able to work with two other guys, really smart guys, similar attitudes, someone to always bounce my ideas off of, someone who's seen things I haven't seen. So yeah. Dr. Parker fits right into that, a PhD before he came here. I mean, okay. So you're like the young blood coming up. Yeah, here, right? yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but one of the, it's sort of the same thing with me coming back. One of the things that I've always knew about Dr. Muscott, Dr. Jones, and the practice itself was just how they were always wanting to be on the advanced, the cutting edge of dental technology, mm -hmm. and coming from that background of research, of scientific work, that interested me. And again, knowing that that's something that they always strive to be on the cutting edge. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wanted to be a part of that. Because it's established yet modern, right? Because like I will tell you, every time you come here, y'all have new gadgets, pretty much. We like new gadgets. And you, you do, especially. Well, thank you both for having me today. And for more information, you can go online to makesomervillesmile.com.